The Inpro 5000i is a digital dissolved CO2 sensor for biopharmaceutical processes. All the necessary steps for maintaining the sensor and getting the best performance from it are explained in this video. It comes factory calibrated and the digitization of the sensor removes the necessity of frequent calibration. It only needs a post-sterilization adjustment in the bioreactor with a calibration gas before use. The Inpro 5000i measures dissolved CO2 following the Sevringhaus principle, where CO2 gas permeates through a membrane and reacts with a bicarbonate electrolyte solution. A pH electrode immersed in the electrolyte measures the pH change. This change is dependent on the dissolved CO2 concentration in the liquid being measured. To ensure measurement accuracy, the Inpro 5000i should be examined and any maintenance performed before a batch run. To perform maintenance and calibration, you will need the following. The supplied electrolyte solution, a new membrane body, Mettler Toledo pH buffer 7 and 9.21, at least four clean beakers, a sensor stand, and Mettler Toledo iSense software or transmitter. In this video, we will be using iSense. First, turn the cap sleeve a few times to loosen it. Gently push the membrane into the sensor to release it from the cap sleeve. Unscrew and remove the cap sleeve. The membrane body can then be pulled off the sensor tip. Do not reuse the membrane body. Dispose of it appropriately. Evaluation of the pH probe must be conducted carefully, as the pH glass of the probe is very sensitive and should not come into contact with anything other than buffer solutions, electrolyte solution, or the Inpro 5000i membrane body. If the pH glass touches any surface on your hand, it can pick up an electrostatic charge that can interfere with the measurement. In the worst cases, you could cause unrecoverable damage to the sensor tip. Connect the sensor to iSense to evaluate the slope of the pH probe. As a golden rule, rinse the probe in the same buffer you intend to use for the next calibration step. Before proceeding, we recommend as best practice to condition the pH probe for 10 minutes in buffer 7. Immerse the pH probe in the first buffer. Be careful not to touch the retainer nut during the procedure. iSense conveniently shows the whole calibration process in animated steps. After following all the steps, iSense shows you the calibration results. Unlike standard pH sensors, Adjusting the pH probe in the Inpro 5000i is not necessary at this stage. The purpose of this calibration is to check the sensor's slope. If the slope is above 90%, the sensor can be confidently used again. If the slope has fallen below 90%, the pH probe must be replaced. Press Save Calibration to record the data to iSense. The data can be used to conveniently monitor sensor slope from batch to batch. Now, reassemble the sensor. Using a fresh bottle of electrolyte, rinse a new membrane body, then empty it. As shown on iSense, half fill the membrane body with electrolyte. Flick the membrane body a few times to remove air bubbles. Rinse the pH probe with electrolyte to remove the pH buffer. Carefully push the membrane body onto the pH probe. Do not touch the pH probe's glass. With a tissue, remove any excess electrolyte. Reattach the cap sleeve. The sensor is now ready for mounting in the bioreactor. Once the bioreactor has been fully prepared, it must be autoclaved. The pH probe's slope value will remain stable over several autoclaving cycles, therefore eliminating the need for two-point adjustments. 
However, the autoclaving process causes an offset in the sensor's pH probe. This can be easily adjusted by performing an in situ gas calibration. We recommend using a gas concentration in the same range that you want to measure. We're using 5% CO2 saturation. Turn on the gas supply to saturate the media with CO2. Monitor the millivolt reading of the InPro 5000i. Here, we're using iSense. Once the measurement stabilizes, a process calibration and adjustment procedure can be performed. Now, the InPro 5000i is ready for use.